Today we're gonna to be making our own clarified butter, or sometimes it's referred to as ghee. So the real benefit of using clarified butter is that you increase the smoke point from about 300 degrees Fahrenheit to a little under 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And you also create something that lasts a lot longer in your fridge. So if you make a large batch of this, you can store it in the fridge for over six months whenever you need to use it. And you can use this as a substitute for any oil or regular butter as well. If you're substituting it versus olive oil or avocado oil, you'll get that same type of viscosity that you're looking for, but also that rich buttery goodness that we know and love of just using butter. This is a super simple recipe. We're gonna take you through from start to finish here. So stick with us right through to the end. Now, if you've ever tried to do a butter basted steak and you've put the butter in too early or your pan's been too hot, you know you've seen the butter go brown or sometimes even black. And that's the milk solids and the whey proteins burning. So the clarifying process that we're gonna take you through today takes out those whey proteins and takes out the milk solids to just leave you with a really rich, clarified, buttery goodness. All right, so we've got four sticks of butter here. Each of these are a half cup. So that's a full pound or two cups of butter. You can really do as much or as little as you want. Now, because this is good for over six months, we tend to do large batches at a time and just store it away in the fridge until you need it. And you also wanna be using a pot that has a straight edge here, and we'll show you why later on in the video, but that's important so that we can keep the milk solids out as we try to separate the clarified butter from those milk solids. Now with the butter in the pot, just gonna turn on our burner to low heat. And we'll just slide the pot over the burner and let that sit there and slowly melt. This will take a few minutes, but we don't wanna put this on high heat. You don't wanna risk burning the butter. So just be patient and let this low heat setting slowly melt your butter. Now that the butter's all melted, we wanna to continue to just let this gently boil on a low heat setting. And that's gonna let the whey proteins separate out, come to the surface in this white foam you can already start to see forming here. And then the milk proteins or the solids will drop to the bottom of the pan and we'll be left with that clarified, beautiful, clear, buttery layer right in the middle. And that's what we're gonna extract. So you can really see the milk proteins have surfaced here. So we're gonna turn off our burner and we're just gonna let this cool down for about five minutes before we start our separation process. Now that this has cooled down, we're just gonna take a spoon and skim off this whey protein on the surface. And you can see on the bottom, there's a thick white layer as well. Those are the milk solids that we're gonna separate out in the next step here. So you can see we got a lot of this whey protein off of the top. With all that whey protein skimmed off the top, it's now time to separate this beautiful, clear, buttery liquid from those milk solids on the bottom. Okay, so grab your mason jar. If you've got some cheesecloth, you can put some cheesecloth over top here and it'll just strain out any stray whey proteins that you didn't scoop out. And this is where it's important to have a pot or a pan with flat edges. And go slowly here you're just gonna to wanna to gently pour out that buttery liquid. And you wanna make sure you're leaving the white solids that we'll show you here pretty soon at the bottom. So you can see here these white milk solids at the bottom. We might be able to pour out just a little more of this clarified butter, but we wanna be really careful not to let those milk solids get into our mason jar. There we go. So it's that easy, folks. Now we'll just screw this on, drop it in the fridge, and again, this is good as an oil substitute or butter substitute for up to six months as long as you're storing it in the fridge. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give it a like below, and we'll see you on the next one.